Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. Good morning, Curtis Down. How are you? I'm really good, thanks. How are you? I'm having a fantastic day, and it just got better with you. <laughs> well, we're going to talk about Bosch appliances today. We sure are. I'm, I've got some beautiful recipes that I want to share with you. Um, and, you know, my friends at Bosch just did a survey, which I found super interesting. 64% of us still cook multi-generational recipes, meaning they're passed down from grandma or passed down from mum. Once in a while, they get passed down from dad too. And that's talking my language because to me, I think food's always about bringing your family together and sharing those wonderful conversations with each other over some delicious food. So I thought I'd share a couple of my family recipes with you. I love that. And then we'll talk a little bit about what you're doing. But go ahead and tell me about those family recipes. Sure. So my granny used to make scones. And then my mum, of course, used to make those as well. Very Aussie and British thing to do. But I tell you what, they're really delicious. So what I'm making here is um, a jam to go along with those scones. And I'm doing it with strawberries and rhubarb. And of course, strawberries and rhubarb are quintessentially spring ingredients. All you do is you throw some sugar over that strawberry and rhubarb and then you squeeze lots and lots of lemon. Don't worry if the seeds fall in as well because that's just going to add extra pectin which will help thicken it up. And then you want to let that cook nice and slowly. You bring it up to a simmer and then all those strawberries and rhubarb will just melt into the jam. Now I've got one just going over here that's just gently simmering away. And I love the precision that you get from the Bosch induction cooktop because it really makes you a more precise cook, I guess is the best way to describe it. Now you're gonna let that simmer away for about 45 minutes. And I've also got some scones over here that I've gone ahead and made. They're very simple to make and we'll give you, give you the recipe so you can try them as well. I'm just gonna cut them out using sort of a biscuit cutter and then you pop them onto a sheet tray and then you want to bake them. You bake them. They're, they're pretty quick, actually. They take about 12 minutes in the oven, 12 to 15 minutes, and you cook them at 375 degrees. So really simple. Um, and, you know, you, again, talking about precision, I think it's really important that you, you get that even bake. And I always used to say this. I used to tell people to do a thing called the sheet pan shuffle where you'd take the top rack and you'd swap it with the bottom rack and then you'd take the middle rack and swap that on the bottom rack. But the truth is... If you've got the right equipment, then you don't have to worry about that. And Bosch have actually developed a brand new oven for us. Now this has, um, it's called the multi-rack function. And what happens is the air gets blown, the hot air gets blown right through the oven. And of course that means that you get beautiful even baking. So on the bottom of your cookies or your biscuits or your scones in my case, they come out perfect um, golden brown every single time. That is a perfect recipe and very easy. I love scones, I really do, but I always eat them out at a French restaurant because I think they can make them better. Oh, but yeah. now I think I'm going to try it. you got to try them. I'm serving them with my jam, a little bit of uh, whipped cream, or you could use some clotted cream, and they're very simple and easy to make, and i tell you what, they're absolutely delicious. Well, you make them simple. Is it because you own two restaurants and you know about food, or we've seen you on TV on cooking shows of your own and others? Is, is that why you're telling this is simple or is it really simple? You know what? This was my granny's recipe and she passed it down to my mum and she's passed it down to me and now I make it with my boys. And I think so many of our great recipes come um, from the family. And yes, I've got restaurants and yes, sure, I went to culinary school, but you don't need any experience to be honest. You need good ingredients and you need good equipment. They're the only two things that you need. I know, and Bosch is really good. That is one of, I think, the best products on the market because they look good. Mm -hmm. They change with the way we change in trends, and you can really always count on a Bosch 
you know, product. You sure can. It doesn't matter if it's the induction cooktop or the ovens or even um, the, the ice machines in the refrigerator. I've, I've got a recipe that my wife loves to make. Um, it's, it's, I call it Lindsay's Lemonade. I'm going to make it for you. You throw ice at the bottom of the, of the glass and then I've got some sliced up strawberries that you go ahead um, and pop over the top of that because the strawberries, again, spring ingredients. They're just lovely. And then you top that off with the, uh, with the lemonade. And I tell you what, thanks to the Quick Pro Ice Refrigerator, you can make up to 40 glasses of ice per day, which I know no one's going to make that much, need that much, <laughs> but it makes it for you. So it's good to know you've got it on hand at any time. Yes, and when you have people drop over, you've got ice. That's real important. It is, it is, and that's the thing. If you've got the right equipment, I promise you, you become a much better cook at home. You've got these great recipes you brought today, Curtis. Tell me what's on your plate for 2022, uh, 20, because we know that, you know, you're Los Angeles based. There's a lot going on in Los Angeles. There is. I've got two restaurants, Maud and Gwen, but I've also got one in Dallas. I'm actually coming out there on, on Sunday and I'll be at my restaurant on Travis Street in, um, in Dallas, Georgie, by Curtis Stone. Uh, so I'll be there Monday and Tuesday night. So come and see us at the restaurant. We'd love to, uh, love to see you. And it's a great restaurant. I, I absolutely love being in Dallas. So I'm busy in between LA and Dallas. And of course, with all the TV stuff I do, I've got lots on my plate. One of my producers told me that they've been there, so I've got to go there so I can catch up. Chatting Thanks for stopping by the Valder BB show. I'll go there. Nice, nice chatting to you, Valder. I'm Valder BB. I host the Valder BB show broadcast on radio and television. And this is my phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands free, pocket free, purse free, even belt free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.